what is a capsule wardrobe, why do you need one and how do you go about creating one? Stick with me because in this video I'm going to answer those questions for you. Now if you're new here I just want to introduce myself. My name's Maria, I'm a personal stylist. I've been creating capsule wardrobes for about the last 25 years. First of all in my two stores that I used to own for women who would come in and want a mix and match collection of clothing that they can wear and then right back in 2012 on my blog I created a blog post about creating a capsule wardrobe which went pretty viral and was the most popular post on there for many years so I'm going to talk through some of the things that were in that blog post and why some of it is still relevant today and why some of it has moved on a little bit as well I'm going to give you lots of tips and lots of advice if you're thinking about creating a capsule wardrobe and if you haven't why you might want to so let's get into the video. So first of all, let's talk about what a capsule wardrobe is and what I don't believe a capsule wardrobe is. So the whole term came about many years ago. A lady called Susie Foe, who had a shop in London called Wardrobe, created this concept of a capsule wardrobe, or at least she was the first person that I was aware of doing it. And right back, this was, oh, probably 30 years ago, this kind of piqued my interest. And I thought it was such a clever idea about having this mix and match collection of pieces that all went together. Because one of the things that is still the biggest dilemma for most women is that they open their wardrobe doors and they say, I've got nothing to wear, even though they're confronted by a stuffed wardrobe. And the problem is that those pieces are all individual pieces or they have a lot of what I call orphan pieces that don't go with anything else. Now, if you want watch my video a couple of weeks ago which I will link for you here or here um, you'll see that you can have colours and prints in your wardrobe and pieces that don't appear to go together but just with a few clever tweaks you can make them work and I do explain how that works in that video but I'm going to get into some more detail today. So a capsule wardrobe, as I said, it's a collection of pieces that go together and create outfits for you. Now, I think the problem has come about in that over the last few years, a lot of people have jumped on this idea of creating a capsule wardrobe and they've come up with um, an easy way to do it, which is great because a lot of people don't really know what to do or where to start. And so they came up with a formula of how to do it. And right back when I created that blog many years ago, I'm going to try and find some pictures from it. And if I do, I'll slot them in here. But I did create a formula and I created that formula in um, little combinations of threes. And so you would have, say, three tops, three knits, three jackets or coats, three bottom pieces, three dresses three pairs of shoes, three bags, three accessories. And the idea behind that and the way that I did it, and by the way, I have always put color and print into my capsule wardrobes, is that I would have perhaps one plain item, one plain color, maybe one neutral color, and, and one print within that little collection of three. So you might have a plain top, in a colour, a neutral top and a print top. And then those would mix and match with your plain bottom, your um, neutral bottom and perhaps a printed bottom. It might be a printed skirt or it might be um, a printed pair of trousers. I would pick prints that had the neutrals and the um, accent colours within them. So it all sort of mixed and matched beautifully together. And the reason I like that concept is, again, going back to that video that I made um, a couple of weeks ago, you don't have this boring collection of neutral pieces, which is all very well. We all need neutral outfits in our wardrobe. I'm wearing neutral colours today and there are days when you want to do that. But if that's all there is in your wardrobe, you're going to get very bored with it. 
we crave colour and colour can really affect our mood. So, you know, there are uplifting colours, there are sombre colours, there are serious colours. You know, we wear black to funerals, we wear navy when we want to be formal, we wear grey when we want to be formal. But when we want to have fun and lighten our mood, we turn to colour. And if you have no colour in your, in your wardrobe, then chances are it's going to get to the point where your energy is going to be pretty flat because you've got nothing to spice up your life and just make it a little bit more interesting and by life I mean your wardrobe life I don't mean your your life in general but if you think about it big brands are very clever about how they use color they use colors to relax us if you go to a spa they'll use certain colors like um, fresh greens and whites and those kind kind of relaxing colours. If you go into a shop, they're very clever about using colours that will induce you to spend money. So having nothing but neutrals in your wardrobe, as I said, is going to mean that it's going to be very flat. So you really do need to think about how you can um, have pieces in your wardrobe for those days when you want to be quiet and then for those days when you do need a little bit more energy. So that's why I think a lot of these formulas that you see now for capsule wardrobes with lots of neutrals in them and no colour or perhaps only one colour aren't really going to work for you long term. And don't get me wrong because there are different types of capsule wardrobe. So very often we talk about I'm creating my spring capsule wardrobe or my summer capsule wardrobe. I've also come up with the concept of creating a core capsule wardrobe which is the foundation and takes you throughout the year and is a wardrobe that you can use to build on to add those colours and prints. And if that's something that you'd like to know more about, I've linked my ebook which talks you through how to create that core capsule wardrobe and by the way how it is individual for everyone so your capsule wardrobe will be different to your best friends because you have different colouring you have a different lifestyle you have different body shapes so it's really making sure and this is what I think is so key about a capsule wardrobe is it's making sure that it's individual and personalised to you so to me that's what's so important about a capsule wardrobe is that it is in individual and that comes on to another point about I quite often get asked how many pieces should I have in my capsule wardrobe again this really depends on you because your capsule wardrobe will be a different size to mine if you're somebody who goes out a lot who entertains a lot who goes to lots of events your wardrobe might need to be bigger than somebody who spends a lot of their time at home and perhaps does some exercising or some dog walking or something like that and really doesn't need a lot of very smart pieces in their wardrobe. If you work, you might want to have um, two combined capsule wardrobes that overlap with each other with pieces that you can wear for work and for home and some pieces that perhaps you only wear at work. Perhaps you've got blazers in that that you wouldn't wear at home. But the key thing here is it has as many pieces in it that work for you. Now the other thing that sometimes I find people think is that creating a capsule wardrobe means that you can do it on the cheap. It's a case of let's find as many pieces as we can for as little as possible. And that's not something that I would recommend. Instead, I would recommend that you shop with intention, that you have pieces in your wardrobe that will last for many years to come. You buy the best quality that you can afford, especially on those pieces that you know are going to be real foundation pieces. Maybe it's a pair of trousers that you could wear for day and for evening, that you can wear with dressed up with blouses, but equally you could put on a t-shirt with them and a pair of trainers and wear them more casually. And so those trousers need to be something that are good quality that are going to last. Now, of course, we know that quality 
isn't always related to price. Sometimes you see designer pieces which are very expensive and the quality isn't very good. Sometimes you'll find something in um, a high street shop which is really good quality and is surprisingly not as expensive as you would expect it to be. So it really does come down to looking at the quality of the item, how it's made, the fabric that, uh, that it's made of, and making sure that it is an item that is going to work for you long term if it's going to be one of those key pieces in your wardrobe. Now as the seasons go on you might want to add some new fun colours, you might want to add some new um, slightly trend pieces that you know you're not going to wear for years and years to come. Now in that case, again, I wouldn't recommend that you buy something that you wear once and never wear again. You still want to get good value for money out of the pieces in your wardrobe. But it might be that you would spend a little bit less on them. Perhaps if your really good pair of trousers has cost you over £100, then something that's just a trend for the season, you might spend under 50 on it. And I'm just picking out ballpark figures here because obviously we all have different budgets. But think about um, when you're shopping, shopping with intention, not just buying things all of the time, but really planning out your wardrobe and thinking about what do I need I don't need loads of excess pieces in there because actually even with a small collection of pieces you can still create lots of outfits as I proved in the video with Liz's wardrobe last week which again I'll link for you here. Now she had quite a small wardrobe but we still managed to create lots of different outfits with it. And this is where having that little bit of variety in there does work really well. So one of the things that I would recommend that you do is within your whole capsule wardrobe, you create the kind of like little mini capsules of color and print. But also I'd recommend that you make sure that they overlap with each other because that's how you're going to get a lot of variety in outfits. So I'm going to put in um, a picture here of a little core collection and that's got several pieces in it. We've got a couple of tops in there, we've got a couple of bottoms in there, we've got a jacket or a top piece in there. Now you'll see that I've put a print in there and with that print, obviously that print has got several colours in it. And so within this little core collection, I can already create several outfits with the different tops, the different bottoms, putting the different um, jacket on there and perhaps swapping the jacket for a knit piece instead. But it already gives me several different outfits. Now if I add a second little capsule of colour and this time it picks up on some of the colours that are in the print from the first capsule, we can then expand that top into the new capsule and start mixing all of those pieces together as well. So where you might not be able to mix a print top and a print bottom, if they overlap into two collections of colour, we're immediately expanding the number of outfits that we can create. And this is something that I do in my wardrobe. So again, you'll have seen in that video I made a couple of weeks ago that I have quite a lot of prints in there, but I also have plain items in there. I also have coloured items in there and I have items that overlap with each other so that I can pull one item from one little core capsule of colour and move it into another one and expand the outfits that I've created. An argument that I quite often hear against a capsule wardrobe is, oh, well, it's going to get boring. If I've only got so many items, I'm not going to be able to create that many outfits. I'm going to be wearing the same things all the time. And that's why you need colour and print in there. Because yes, if you've only got neutrals in there, exactly that. You will be wearing the same things all the time. It's going to be like Groundhog Day and it's going to get to the point where you're going to go out and just buy something on impulse because suddenly you've seen a colour or a print that you like and you're bored with what you've got in your wardrobe. And I always say that if you do buy something new to go in your wardrobe, make sure that you perhaps buy a couple of pieces that have got that colourway in it so that you could create another one of these little capsules of colour that mixes in with what you've already got. 
or look at the prints that you've already got and see if you can find something in one of the colours that's in the print. So perhaps you've got a print that's got some red in it and you think, okay, well, I'm going to buy a red skirt because I know that will go with that and it will go with some of the other neutrals that I've got in my wardrobe. So it's really being thoughtful and intentional about what you add. Now the other reason why I think it's a really good idea to have a capsule wardrobe is again this problem where we look in our wardrobes and we think I've got nothing to wear. So an event comes up and we dash out and we desperately look for something for that event. So and we quite often end up spending a lot of money for one event because we've got nothing to wear and we're in a panic. So we find something, perhaps we actually feel really good in it and the event comes up, whether it's you know a party or a day out or perhaps it's a big meeting at work. You put your outfit on, you're ready to go, you have a cup of coffee and you spill the coffee down the front of you. Now disaster strikes and you're panicking because that was the only thing that you felt really good in for this particular event. You know that in your wardrobe you were struggling to find anything that you could wear and you're just about to go out the door and you've got nothing to swap it with. Now if your wardrobe has been built with intention and you have lots of pieces in there that mix and match, it might be that you just take the blouse off and you've got another beautiful blouse that works with that outfit because it's all been created to coordinate together and you know that you feel good in that. And we all know these things happen. A little bit of thought beforehand and creating a wardrobe that works for you beforehand means that should you suddenly get an invitation to something or if somebody calls you and says can you be there tomorrow you know you've got something to wear you know you've got something that you feel good in and of course it does take time to do this because finding all those items and creating those combinations isn't something that is a two minute job and that is why I have created the Capsule Wardrobe membership. Now, for many years, I used to create um, capsule wardrobes for clients virtually online. The problem with that was that it became such a popular service that I literally couldn't keep up with the demand. And I had something like 30 clients that I was working with every month providing them with a collection of capsule wardrobe items to add to what I'd given them the previous month and creating outfits for them. Now, I still get people asking me if I will do that. And the problem is, as I said, I just don't have the capacity to do it individually. And so the solution that I've come up with is the capsule wardrobe membership. So every month I create a whole capsule wardrobe of items um, during April, we actually had over 50 outfits in there. It's done for different budgets, different sizes, um, there's different colour combinations in there. For April, we had some lovely core neutral pieces in there. We had some colour as well. We did have some prints in there. But for May, I'm going to add more colour, more prints and some lovely summery pieces. I'm also going to be putting a little collection of makeup in there as well, because that is something else that I've been asked for. So... If this is something that you're really interested in and you do want to create your own capsule wardrobe but you don't physically have the time, the inclination or the skills to do it because it does take skill to do this really well then you might be interested in my capsule wardrobe membership. It doesn't mean that you have to buy the whole capsule wardrobe because what I really encourage you to do is have a look at the pieces that I've included in there, have a look at the outfits that I've included and then go to your wardrobe and see what you've got. And maybe you've got a pair of trousers like that but they're in a different colour and maybe you've got a, um, a jacket that's like that but that's in a different colour and a blouse that's in a different print but you can start to see how I put these combinations together and think about how you can use what's in your wardrobe already to create those combinations so hopefully it will inspire you to use what you've already got and then if there are pieces that you want to add there are very quick links that you can literally click on to go and buy the item and as I said I do give you 
you a range of budgets because obviously we're all on different budgets. I do give you a range of sizes as well because I know that for a lot of women who are above a size 16 UK, which I think is a 20 US, it's really hard to find nice quality pieces. But because I spend so much time online and in the shops looking at items, scouring them for, for pieces, I know where to look for these pieces. So I can put all that together for you and save you an absolute ton of time. So I'll put a link to all of that down in the description box. And you can just dip into the membership for a couple of months if you want to. There's no long-term commitment. You can do it for a month. You can do it for as long as you want to. Now, if that's not something that you want to do, then I hope that you found some of the tips in this video useful. And there will be more videos to come all about creating capsule wardrobes and creating outfits and creating outfit combinations because it kind of is my superpower. It's the thing that I know that my clients come back to me for again and again and it's something that I love to do. So if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you did that. Click on the little bell and you'll get notified every time I release a new video and please do share the video. Everything that you do as far as liking and sharing and subscribing all helps me to continue making these videos for you. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.